We were very excited to see what God would do in Soacha. We arrived at the first school and the response was immediate. We wanted to share the hope that we have in God. When we saw how many people we came across that no longer wanted to live, we understood why Jesus had gathered more than five nations for this city. Soacha is one of the largest cities in South America and also one of the most troublesome. As birth rates increase, our responsibility grows. And when we spoke to the children, we realized that they do not have many role models to follow. Through music inspired by God, we shared a message full of life. So every child, teenager or young adult we came across in the schools took home the message of Christ, the one who's never left them and never will. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. Every time we shared with them, we did it believing in Him who changed the lives of each of us who were serving. The mission was coming to pass, and we took advantage of every door that was open for us because time was very short and the expectations we had were enormous. Every bell ring was a new chance, and we just wanted them to understand that God is in control of their lives that their story could be different, that dreams do come true, and true happiness is not a utopia, that their future didn't have to be how their present is. Those tears, the desire to die, and the inferiority feelings could leave them, and not for a short time, but forever. We saw a sweet transformation come to their lives. This is how our festival took place in each school that allowed us to share this message with the young people these same young people that one day soon will take control of our country. We had to continue our work, so we moved to the streets. There, the need is even greater. People's need for individuality consumes a system that has made us forget the suffering of others and opened a huge gap between us. In the streets, everything is a journey, from building stages, getting permits from the police, to the adrenaline of the moment. We had to trust God more and take steps of faith. The Holy Spirit prepared all the places. Regardless of race or condition, Christ was preached with passion and commitment. The organization of the festival took a lot of effort and dedication, but the most important thing was the abundant grace of the Creator. We had the opportunity to present ourselves in one of the biggest shopping malls of Soacha. That day, many people recognized that Jesus Christ is the only truth and decided to change their lives. We dressed up as clowns to preach to the children. They were very happy to feel the love of God. We saw many families being restored. 
Extreme Sports had an important role in our festival. We were able to reach many young people through skateboarding, BMX, and scooters. The youth of our nation are very talented, and Jesus is available to any age and culture. He came into their lives in a real risky and extreme way, just as they are. Every day was important. Platform stages allowed us to impact many people. Thank God the police always gave us their support. We had drawbacks. We were in one of the busiest streets in town. But for God, problems are opportunities. The festival was his idea, and he wanted to do it differently. Many friends and residents came and shared with us. Every stage had an excellent presentation. The stage featuring artists and athletes drew people's attention. And our work was coming to an end. But we were left with the memories of the faces of the small children of Kasuka and Dukal, two places we had the opportunity to visit, where spiritual poverty and economic shortages have made people who live or come to that place very vulnerable. Those kids were grateful for the way our organization cared for them. For us, the most important thing was to give them care, affection, and love. So we continued our last day of the festival, playing different types of music like rock, reggae, hip hop, and others. At the extreme sports competition, we saw huge smiles in the faces of the young people that were having fun with what God had prepared for them. We have many reasons to keep doing this work. We want to serve God's creation and carry the message of salvation to all corners of the earth. We are passionate about the gospel, and we know that we must do the will of God. He wants us to love our neighbor as ourselves. This is Soacha Pide Vida, which means Soacha calls for life. Together, we're writing a new story.